Hi, this is Rebecca from Chemnitz, and today we're going to discuss how to dye yarn in the microwave with food coloring with my friends AllFreeKnitting.com. The four components that you need to dye yarn um, in the microwave is first you need to have yarn. I have here soaking in water some undyed fingering weight 100% wool yarn. You can have yarn that has some color to it, but if you're going to be dyeing yarn yourself, you obviously would want to start with a paler color so that way you can achieve your desired color. For the color component, we have just standard food coloring that you can find at any grocery store. To dye yarn in the microwave, you also need a microwave safe glass. I have one and a half cups of water in this Pyrex cup. And the final component that we need uh, to add before we can deal with the microwave is vinegar. Vinegar is composed of acetic acid, and acid is an important component for dyeing yarn. And since we're going to be dyeing yarn in the microwave, the microwave will be the heat source, which is the final ingredient that we need to dye yarn. So to the one and a half cups of water, I'm going to add a tablespoon of white vinegar. The proportions of vinegar to water aren't super important. It's something that you can tinker with a bit to see what works best for you. Alright, the now I think we're going to do some kind of blue-green. So I'm going to add four drops of blue food coloring. And let's do four drops of green food coloring, and just for the record, I'll do a drop of yellow. The more dye that you add, the, more, the darker color you will get in your yarn. And also the longer you leave the yarn in the dye bath, the darker color you will get. All right, so now I'm gonna take Oops, see, I'm wearing gloves because, uh, just to protect my fingers from getting color. You can see I already ha got, oh, maybe you can't see, I already got a tiny bit of dye on my skein. I'm going to lightly wring out this skein of yarn. Oof. And so you see it's just a skein loop. And I am going to dip it into the dye bath using the assistance of my handy dandy fork. Oops. There we go. And so you can see that, you know, there's some color already. But if I wring it out a bit, the color is not st sticking to the yarn. It's just green because it's inside green water. So we're going to need to put this in with some heat. Now, if you were curious about the proportion of, say, water to yarn, you just need to make sure that you have enough dye so that your yarn is covered. It's not... Again, this is something that you will work on with trial and error. So now I am going to walk this over to the microwave. And first I'm going to start by microwaving it on high for, hi, <laughs> for one minute. And so while that's counting down, the, I guess the, the amount of time that you have it in the microwave is a bit trial and error. You want to get the dye bath hot enough so that you see some simmering, but it doesn't really need to be at a rolling, bo rolling boil. So even though I'm going minute by minute, and I will probably add a second minute onto this once it stops, the again, this is something that by trial and error you will find a length of time. Okay, so I've ended up actually microwaving this for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And as you can see, I got it so that it was lightly simmering. You can also see that there's still a lot of color to the water. And be careful because your glass will be hot. So the green, you know, we do have some color on the yarn at this point. But I'm going to leave the entire pot in the microwave to see if, while this cools down slowly, 
more of the dye will absorb to the yarn. And if needed, we can microwave it for an additional second. So I did not, in fact, end up putting any more time in the microwave. And I'll bring this over to the sink so you can see better that, in fact, after two and a half minutes of microwaving, almost all the color that was in our dye bath is now in our yarn. So we don't want to shock the yarn, but we do need to clean it. So using some lukewarm temperature and a little bit of just standard dish soap, we're going to wash the yarn so that way they're in, so that way no, um, we're going to rinse off all the extra dye. And you want to wash the yarn until you've removed all of the soap and the rinse water runs clear. And then that shows that you've removed all the dye. And so then, of course, you can knit with your beautiful green yarn. You're fine. Yeah. And so here is the stain. And thank you for dyeing yarn in the microwave with me, Rebecca from Chemnitz, and my friends at allfreeknitting.com.